Good morning. Today is Monday, August 28, 2023. Jump day for Tuesday, the 29th. All right, let's go. Well, no setups again tonight. This is not a bad thing, actually. I'd, I'd rather not have setups when the market is kind of chopping around a little bit than have setups, take them, and lose money. I know it's hard to prove negative, but pay attention when these type of things occur. Pay attention, like to the Landry Let's see what happens to them. If you did look, want to go after something, DraftKings, DKNG, it looks like it could be a little bit of trouble. It might get a little support on a possible short. It's not coming off of all-time highs, but it is coming off of multi-year highs. It does have a gap down, so it does look like it's in trouble. Probably a bow tie, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah, also a bow tie. Uh, definitely a first thrust type of setup. You'll notice that, oops, if we get back to the Landry list, you'll notice that MHO is a home builder. Obviously, we're short the... KBH, and sometimes what stocks can be at an inflection point. They're either going to roll over, deep pullback, or they roll over. This one still looks like it's kind of rolling over, but it's also set up as a pullback. I, I wouldn't take it anyway, but I just want to show you what I'm seeing out there. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then let's pop out to the overall market. Not a whole lot to report today. KBH down, well, it was down a smidge. It ended in Flatsville by the end of the day, actually up two cents on the day. K and F had a good day though, not too far from all time highs. Another couple of points will be there. Hopefully. I know I just said hope, but uh, looking pretty good and here is a general stable. One of the better looking stocks out there. LFMD not so much. Under stop shit just in case we're getting fairly close to that stop in here, which is just under the bottom of this range. But really hasn't done anything bad, but obviously it's not going up. Just kind of consolidated by going sideways in here. So again, under your stops just in case. Let's take a look at the overall market and we'll drill down to some sector direction obviously. First of all, we'll take a look at the piece. Not a tremendous amount to report there. I'm, I'm glad they went up. It didn't set the world on fire. Up a little bit more than half of a percent. Let's throw the bow ties in so we can take a look at a couple things here. Also the 50 simple. We're not too far away from the 50. You know me, like I would say quite a bit. If we can get above the 50 and the bow tie moving averages, that would obviously be a good thing and put us one step closer to to these old highs, uh, new highs in here, or these old new highs, how we want to look at that. But so far, it still looks a little questionable, obviously, as long as we remain below these moving averages. As I've been saying quite a bit and talking about the 5% area, if you take a look at the recent presentations that I've done, you'll notice that I've put the zones on the chart. So uh, take a look at that 5%. Let me just find it real quick. Here we go. As you can see, this is the 5% line here. This is 10%. And then obviously the 50 simple. This is a weekly chart. So I will pay attention to this 5% line as I believe it was Jeff was pointing out. It's, a, it's an important area to watch. We'll be talking quite a bit about that. So I'll keep an eye on that for you and let you know if anything happens there. Let's get back to the overall market. And then we'll, again, drill down to some sector action. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. As you can see, a little bit of a gap there. Up a little bit more than three quarters, quarters of a percent. He tried to say better than the poke in the eye. On all these indices, or especially specifically the Nasdaq and the P's, I sure would like to see them get closer and closer to these prior highs in here. They are kind of head and shoulder looking a little bit. We don't have that right shoulder higher higher yet, just yet on those. But one day at a time. But again, all these indices have lost steam in here as of late. And the Rusty still looks questionable at best, sideways at best, but you can see stalling out or beginning to bounce a little bit from this little slide that we had. Both have moving averages or in downtrend proper order. Their energies had an okay day, not too far from all-time highs. Again, not a whole lot of momentum in here, but the good news is we are just off of all-time highs. One or two big updates will make all the difference in the world. So it looks like they're trying to break out once again, but they did get thwarted a little bit, as you can see. See drugs kind of coming back in a little bit again. As I've been saying, ad nauseum, they had this one big day and then pfft, really hadn't done anything since. So we're waiting for something to happen there. Uh, obviously, manufacturing had a decent day. One more big up day, and we're back above or well above, I should say, these moving averages. And that would certainly be a good thing. M and C still looks questionable at best. Little tiny bit of a rally today. Bow tie to the downside. Sharp angle against that 50 simple, and that's a pattern I talk about quite a bit. Retail, a little bit of a bounce. It actually looks okay longer term, finding a little support at that 50. But both ties are on the cusp of turning into downtrend proper order. As you can see, let's take a look at transport. It's a little bit of a bounce, but then off their best levels. Look like they're in trouble shorter term and longer term after getting thwarted 
at all these highs in here. So a lot of things I'm saying, I realize I'm kind of repeating. I just want to kind of point a few things out in here, though, or reiterate them just in case uh, we have some new people on board. A little bit of a bounce in the semis, but certainly nothing to get excited about. Again, there, once again, we have shorter term, and that's just not so high. In the longer term, we're bumped up. We bumped up against these prior highs. Yeah, here, one cup of coffee more, Dave. I actually didn't have any. <laughs> But anyway, so glad to see the semis higher, but no serious follow through here. I'd like to see a, them, like all these other areas, get above that 50 simple and also obviously the bow tie moving average. So what I'm trying to say is I think we need to wait a little bit longer and see if this market could get its act back together again. Unfortunately, the longer it stays below the prior highs and the weaker it stays, the more people will be getting to notice and possibly look to get out especially if they caught the last leg higher or if they're sitting in longer term investments and then worried that this leg is not going to be the real deal but let's just follow the price charts let's not think about that too much and again take things one day at a time any questions you know routine everybody have a great night we'll talk tomorrow thank you so much